Okay, Coach Larson's trig class. Um, you know when you use the quadratic formula opposite of B. Here, I'll, I'm going to make one up real quick. Don't write this down. Just kind of observe what I'm doing here. So let's say I have to solve this, x squared minus 6 plus 3 equals 0. There's no GCF and the t-chart be a fail because 1 times 3 is 3 and you can't find two factors of 3 that add to 6. So I go opposite of B, A, B, C. And that's 6. And then B to the second, so it would be negative 6 second minus 4, 1, and 3. And then on bottom, 2 times 1. We know that's 2. Now what I had you do is um, just go square root, double the parentheses, and then negative 6 to the second power minus 4, 1, and 3. And then I had you put 4.90 or 4.89 up top there and then go from there. Well, in his class, what he's going to want you to do is just enter it in without the square root. Now, I had you do this one as a domain error. And you have the square root of 24, but it's not 24. It's the square root of 24. Now, where do you go from there? Well, that's what I'm about to show you. Okay. So let's say I enter the b squared minus 4ac, I get 8. Here's what he's going to want you to do with that, okay? Plus or minus, you're going to put negative 8 in front, you're going to put 2 on bottom. Not 2a, just pretend a was 1 and we multiplied it by 2. Now here's what you do then when you get b squared minus 4ac equals 8. You make two square roots and you try to divide 8 by those numbers on the board. So you obviously your only option really is 4. And you put 4, 2 in that order. Now the square root of 4 is 2. Okay, So after the plus minus, we write 2 square roots of 2. Now circle the outside numbers, not the, not the square root number. And then you look up the GCF for those. And the GCF, 8, 8 2, and 2 is 2. So you divide those all by 2. So that would be negative 4. That would be 1. And that would be 1. Okay. So what you do is you write your plus minus. You got negative 4 in front. Now if you have a 1 in front of your square root, you leave it out. And it's just square root 2. And if you have a 1 on bottom, you're not going to have a bottom. That's your answer. Okay, my next problem, again, you got 5 plus or minus, and then you got 10 on bottom. So I try to divide the 75, rewrite the square root of 75 as two separate square roots, one of which can just become an integer. Now, 75 on the board, you would divide by 64, that's a decimal. Then you would divide by 49, that's a decimal. Divide by um, 36, that would be a decimal. Then 25. Okay, that works. So I put 25 and 3. Now that is 5 whole. Okay, so it's 5 square root 3. Now I circle 5, 5, and 10, and the GCF out of those three is 5. So you divide all those by 5. So that's a 1. That's a 1. And 10 divided by 5 is 2. So I got my plus or minus. You need to put the 1 before it, but not the 1 before the square root. You just put square root 3. And then you have a 2 on bottom. Okay, So you need the bottom to put 2 on. And that's how he's going to want that. Okay, Next up, you got 9 hole in front, 3 hole on bottom. And then we're going to simplify the square root of 45. Okay. So I take 45 divided by 36, decimal, divide by 25, decimal, divide by 16, decimal, divide by 9. Okay, I got 5 there, so it's 9, 5, but this becomes 3 whole. So 3 square root 5. So what's the GCF out of 9, 3, and 3? Well, it's probably 3. Because I divide that by 3, it's 3. That's a 1. That's a 1. 
So we have a 1 on bottom, so we don't need the fraction. We need the 3 in front. We don't need the 1 in front of the square root. We just put square root 5. And there we go. That's how he's going to want your answers for the quadratic formula. I mean, in my class, that's fine. But this next one, you got 12 and 2. Then you factor your 48. Not factor, I mean divide. We rewrite it as two square roots. One is a perfect square. Now, a lot of people will divide that by 4, and they'll do... 4 and 12, but that would not be correct because you got to divide by the highest possible factor up there. So that's why you want to start at the first number that's less. Didn't work. Because there's a larger number it divides by 16. And this becomes then 4 whole. And then I write 4 whole square root 3. 12, 4, and 2, the GCF would be 2, okay? So that becomes 6, that becomes 2, that becomes 1. So I got a 6 in front, I got 2, I need to put the 2, it's when it's 1 I don't put it, and then square root 3, and then since there's a 1 on the bottom you just don't have a denominator.